Hey, I, guys, I thought I'd start off this video with saying that I'm going to be bypassing the iOS 7 Plus. This is 7.1.2. I'm going to be able to downgrade it to 6.1.2 or 6.1.3 and then take it back up once the iCloud is removed. So here, I'll explain to you how it's done. I'll, I'll up the brightness on the video. It's just that it's zooming into the phone brightness right now. So here we go. We're gonna, there you go, now you can really see it, but once you, once it, whoa, wow, alright, but anyways, uh, it has the searching problem and stuff, I can't activate it through Wi-Fi or the computer, I'm gonna show you what happens once I plug it in, this is what happens, see there's the iPhone, it will just do that for a long time and they'll say it could not activate. So I'm going to put it in recovery mode to be able to um, restore the device and update off of iOS 6. And I'm going to show you the date of which I am doing this. So these phones are actually really rare. That's why I'm making a video of this. Let's see if I can focus that in there. C7-3-2014 at 1.48 p.m. And here we go. This is how you put in recovery mode. I don't count seconds or any of that stupid stuff. I know exactly what I'm doing here. Now you hold the power button, slide the power off. Alright, now it's off, and if you hear that, the sound of the computer says that it, the USB has been disconnected. Now you want to hold this power button until the power's on. Then you're going to want to hold both buttons, home and power button, at the same time. Until it goes off. Hold it for a few more seconds, then hold the home button. Continue holding the home button until your computer recognizes that it is in recovery mode, and it just did now iTunes has detected an iPhone recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. And you click OK. Now I've tried many different things. Like trying to, I downloaded an IPSW, which is the reco recovery file or whatever, the whole thing in 6.1.2, 6.1.3, and I even tried 7.0. None of it will work. So if this doesn't work, then I'm not going to be able to do anything. But I'm going to, for the first time, just click regular old restore iPhone. Now this this iPhone is on 6.1.2 or 6.1.3, so I know it does not have the iCloud lock. So I'm not even gonna bother without with finding it. I'm just gonna go straight into 7.1.2. The fact being that uh, iCloud lock didn't come out until 7.0. So here we go. Are you sure you want to restore this iPhone iPhone to its factory settings? All of your media and other data will be erased and the newest version of the iPhone software will be installed. iTunes it will verify with Apple after this process is complete. You will have the option to restore your contacts, calendars, text messages, and other settings. Now I'm going to check and make sure I'm on the latest version of iTunes. Uh, let's see if I can find that somewhere around here. Thought it was help. Guy, 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 check for updates. Yep, this version of iTunes 11.2.2 is the current version. So now I'm going to press restore iPhone, restore and update, iOS 7.1.2. This update contains bug fixes and security updates including improves iBeacon connectivity and stability, fixes a bug with data transfer and some 3D party accessories including barcode scanners, correct an issue with the data protection class of mail attachments. For more information on the security content of this update, please visit this website http colon slash support.apple.com slash kb slash ht1222 so here we go I'm going to click next here iPhone software update just yeah I don't want to ever read this stuff all this and then I hit agree and now it has to download the update so now I'm going to 
I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to restart it once the update is done and I'm going to show you guys if it works on 27 minutes, 26 now. So yeah, just stay in, I'll stay in touch with you guys. Alright guys, and I'm back on the video here. Um, it's preparing iPhone for restore, waiting for iPhone. Uh, it's actually working. I think iTunes doesn't let you use old iOS's anymore because I just uploaded and restored and now it's actually working. Uh, I think that's what the problem is now, really. Because a lot of videos on YouTube would say just restore the device and then it should fix the searching problem and all that. Uh, hopefully this fixes the device now. Uh, I'm just going to wait for this to work. It says verifying iPhone to restore with Apple. So I'll get back to you guys after this has finally loaded. Now it says waiting for iPhone. So I'll let you guys know. I'll uh, fast forward the video to when this is actually almost done lo uh, loading. Alright guys. Alright guys. Uh, the restoring on the iTunes is completely done. Although the bar on the new on the phone is less than a centimeter from being done, and as you can see, the new Apple logo is here, not the silver one. It's the actual just plain white one, very boring. And uh, yeah, it just says restoring iPhone firmware, and that goes to show that the new iTunes does not want you to be using any old firmware than the latest firmware especially anything for six because people want they want you to not restore your iPhone before the activation lock because they think they're geniuses but they're not it's done but anyways yeah it should be done very momentarily I don't know why it's taking a while now but hopefully once this update is done I will be once again able to activate here there we go restoring iPhone firmware it's for some reason restart the bar the bar has gotten very close to the end now I don't know if you can see that but it's very 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 close to the end right there and uh, yeah so um, once this is done restoring the firmware, it should be ready to sit back, don't close out of anything guys, and that's how it's done to be able to probably fix the searching error, hopefully here. And uh, yeah, it's loading pretty fast actually, if you can see. Compared to that small loading bar on the phone. Oh wow, look! It just complete the full bar now. So now I'm just waiting for the iPhone. Well, actually, there is literally a speck that has not been completed on the bar. And once this iPhone is done, it will be ready. Now I'm pressing the phone up to my ear to see if I can hear it moving inside with the hard drive and stuff. Hmm, I don't know. I, don't, I think I heard like a twack or something. But, uh, yeah. It's almost done, as you can see. There it goes. And. And. Full bars. Wait. Full bar on computer. But on the phone, it's still a speck away. So it looks like we're done. Just gotta move that bar a little bit. Alright, now it's taking a little bit longer here. I'm gonna just hold this close to the computer to see everything. It takes a while, probably because it's moving from 6 to 7. They're just loading all that. This Disgusting activation lock in iCloud bullshit. So hopefully this fixes the problem because I'd rather have iOS 6 and not have it work than have iOS 7 and not work. 
because Iowa 7 is terrible. But, uh, yeah. I don't know why nothing's moving. And it's still spec away from completion. So, I'm gonna just re-, re uh, speed up this video for once it's done. Alright. Now, the phone has finished. It said it was restarting the phone and it was going to be reset the factory settings after the phone reset. So now the phone is just resetting. Uh, the, this is literally what just right after what happened when it finished. And now it's showing me that bar of death again. So hopefully this actually speeds up for once. But uh, yeah, it says nothing on iTunes. It's really weird, but on the phone. It's showing the bar, it seems to be going pretty pretty fast compared to the other bar. But uh, I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to just stay zoomed on at the bar. There's the bar, it seems to be going pretty quick. It's probably unpacking all the uh, iCloud activation. It's probably what the whole bar is about. And uh, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I thought it was the worst update I'd uh, tunes has ever made in their lives. It really makes people not be able to use their phones whenever they forget their password. There's nothing they can do about it. Alright, it says accessing iTunes store on iTunes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And there we go. There we go. iOS. Let's see if I can restart this. Hmm. Shows the M I E D now. M E I D. Or M E I D. So yeah, uh, I think it'll work now. So we're just gonna see if I can figure this all out. So yeah, I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys. Regardless of what it said on iTunes, I put in my Wi-Fi password and it went straight to Location Services. I'm not going to go back to show you guys, I don't want anything to mess up, but it went straight to location services. Uh, let's see if I can go further with this. Set up as new iPhone. Skip this step. Skip. Terms and conditions. Never read that. Agree. Agree. Don't add passcode. Continue. Don't send. Get started. And there you have it, guys. iCloud activation lock bypass for iOS. Here, I'm going to show you guys. This is the, uh, now officially, I'm going to show you guys on the general about. Alright, there we go. Official iOS 7.1.2 bypass on an iPhone 4 32 GP with no hacktivate program just straight through iTunes and this works on iOS 6, iOS 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and iOS 7 bypassed and everything full bars, Wi-Fi, camera everything's working right now and all it's this is not a jailbreak or anything this is just pure knowledge of getting bypassing it and being smarter than all of Apple's representatives so here we go guys, and it has been done by me. First you have it now, lack it to back, going to be uploaded soon, just comment, rate, subscribe, what you think of this video. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope this video really helped you, because it really helped me. This is a 32 GB iPhone 4, brand new condition, now usable again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good day.
thing. I just checked the ESN on swappa.com slash ESN and I'm no sponsor for them or whatever. I just used their site because they seem to be very reliable. And it says the ESN appears to be ready for activation. iPhone 4, 32 gigabyte in white. This this is a valuable, valid serial number for an Apple product. iPhone 4 CDMA. And there you have it, folks.